Hi, I'm Srinivas and um, I am into the field of HR, OD, consulting, uh, internal consulting, uh, learning and development. This is the area that I work in. I am now located in Bangalore. Uh, yeah, so systemic consulting, uh, my interest is in listening to more people about the topic. I have gone through at least a couple of courses on the subject and each time uh, I've heard of phrases like systems consulting, systems thinking, systemic consulting, uh, sometimes systematic. <laughs> so just want to understand this a little better and listen to more people. Uh, especially since it's in Oroville, maybe expatriates, more views, more global uh, thoughts. And it's been so far an interesting experience listening to uh, definitions, models, um, intervention methods. So, happy to be here. Okay. They've been like, uh, you're finished one day of the workshop and we finished the morning session. Correct. So can you tell me how was the process been and, uh, you know, what are your takeaways and uh, what are you learning or giving through the program? Yeah, see, uh, the process has been very, very nice, which I'm usually used to. Uh, this is the this is the model which is very, very liberal, open uh, method where there is no structure that is defining or controlling you. Um, so I like the process. I like the fact that we have multiple consultants jumping in at different points of time. So it's not one person. Uh, there is a lot of freedom for uh, participants to to dive in and do what is relevant for them at that moment. Yeah. And I can see a lot of maturity among the, uh, among the faculty not to be driven by subject that they have to cover by this time. Yeah. They are driven by the maturity that uh, let the system decide what it wants. So that way I think it's a great process. Um, my takeaways are, I think, better understanding of uh, systems thinking. Uh, earlier it was more theoretical in my, uh, in my query. Now this sounds much more practical, more uh, application oriented. Okay. So that way, yes, that's a takeaway I have. And what I'm giving is my past perceptions, uh, OD knowledge, and trying to also contribute to an extent in, in, in personal inquiry, individual inquiry into different things, partly practicing uh, what I try to preach. So that's how I'm contributing. Okay. And uh, systemic change, uh, as we can see, it's relevant to everything today mm. from environment to the corporate, to the organization, the NGO, all of it. <coughs> so in consulting, your that's your forte. So how do you see systemic change, uh, you know, fit into that or both of them blending together? Uh, I mean, how would you uh, utilize this in your practical way or your indus industry as a whole? Yeah, so uh, as I think we identified in the first day, yeah. when I was asked how do I look at uh, or what systems am I interested in looking at, I'm very much bringing in my field of manufacturing sector right. to my own organization. How do, how do I use this? Can you give us a little details, what kind of manufacturing? Yeah. So manufacturing, we are into lubricant business. Okay. Uh, so, but again, the product itself is not relevant, but the Indian manufacturing sector, uh, that would be a little specific. Yeah. And um, the organically grown uh, manufacturing companies right. who, uh, who are heavily reliant on individual contribution, highly intertwined in, uh, you know, uh, definitions like culture, people, so such organizations, how do you bring in systemic change while dealing with reality, while dealing with the resistance to change and also questioning why change. Right. And, and frankly that's a question even I would have. So how to, how to work with them, so how does systems thinking help you firstly look at the system, look at the organization, understand it better. Yeah. Change comes later, or attempt to change is later. So, about a little about the workshop, what uh, what do you think uh, you like about it? What do you think could be better? And you know, the facilitators, the yeah. content. Can you comment? On I, I like the workshop, as I said, for its uh, for its free nature right. permeable boundaries nothing nothing right. really 
criss cross. I like the workshop for the diversity it offers. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, I very interesting to see almost every person unique. Yeah. The, only my wife and me seem to be having some similarity. Otherwise, there is like you know tremendous amount of diversity. That's one thing which is great about it. The faculty is very mature, as I said, extremely mature, free to speak their mind. I know they're also an exploration, so it's, it's nice to see that. So that I like about the workshop. Area of improvement, well, I don't know if there is, uh, there is anything like that. I mean, Mm. I'm fine. I think right. it's more about my adjustment. Okay. So I don't see anything to comment on that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think we're adjusting well. We're learning well. Right. In fact, I, I love the fact that the kids are allowed to walk in and out. Yeah. Just as even uh, one of the pets walked in yesterday. Yeah. And that's fine. It is not seen as anything yes. interfering. And it actually helps the whole learning process. Yes. I, I find it very comforting. Yes. Could you talk a little about the Oroville experience and the people? And I'm sure or you would uh. have spoken to uh, the residents, the Aurovillians as we call it. So what Frankly, I, I, I think uh, I need to spend more time. Okay. Because I, I don't really know Auroville. Okay. I, I hardly have read anything. Okay. Just whatever little I know is is not fair to make a judgment. Right. But uh, I would like to actually spend time here not doing anything, yeah. then only I'll, I'll until I understand. Yeah. I'll have to come back and uh, spend uh, maybe a week or ten days doing yeah. things that people do here. Yeah. Otherwise, it's too early to comment on all of it. All right. Plus all minus, right. I don't know. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Shiro. Thanks for your effort. Also. Thank you. Thank you.